I have a portrait of Cedis uh, that I took, and this is the color corrected, retouched version you're looking at, and this is the before. So as you can see, I color corrected uh, a few locations on her, uh, her facial area, and then her chest area over here due to the shadow. Um, I didn't like. So as you can see, it's a lot darker down here, and I didn't like how um, it was just a little bit too mismatched for me. And I wanted to be a little bit closer to her facial skin tone. So the best way to achieve that is going to be with your info palette and working with curves. So first, grab your lasso tool and select the area you want to closely match. Okay, and I do just a general kind of outline and then do a feather about 50 to 100. In this case, I'm going to do 100. And what you're going to do is choose your eyedropper tool, which is I, on your keyboard, and select the area with shift and um, your mouse, and choose like the darkest location possible, okay? And then you're going to choose the skin tone you closely want to resemble. Um, I'm going to try over here. So as you can see, I have I have four open, but we're gonna work with um, just number three and number four. These are the latest ones I put down. You'll be working with number one, number two. I just have four of these open right now. So open a new layer with curves, and you're gonna be working with RGB values. So red, green, and blue. And we're basically gonna be matching what's at number three to number four, okay? so. R is at 122, we need to get to 162. So we're going to go upwards. And as you can see, to the right of number three, those values are changing right here. This is the original, this is where we need to get it to. So as you see here, we're getting there. So the next one's green. At 81, we need to get it 114. So we're going to choose green, go upwards. To 114 and you can you don't have to be exactly on the dot you can be a little bit over a little bit under and it'll still achieve the same result so 68 to 89 okay I love doing this part I don't know why it's so therapeutic <laughs> so as you can see boom! what a drastic uh, difference and the true value colors don't lie. They're not going to deceive you like your eye. So these are going to be the closest ranges of hue color that you can possibly probably get. So let's just look at the before and then the after. So we achieved this area of color tone. So as you can see, this side is also the same with the previous version. So we're just going to unmask it and bring it back to life. And you don't have to worry about hitting um, like white clothing. It doesn't necessarily show up unless you're doing a lot of yellow. It can uh, appear. So that's pretty much how to uh, retouch skin color as far as mixing and matching. And I uh, hope you learned something. And within the next few weeks, do look out as I continue retouching this image again for you so you can see how to achieve the same results that I do. And if you like this video, do comment, do let me know you appreciate it, and do click on the sponsor. It helps me. It helps you. <laughs> and have a nice day.